As God's official legislator and law enforcement agent, I come in the name of the resurrected Jesus, whose I am and whom I serve, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of things in heaven, things in earth, things under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord. I effect and enforce God's original plans and purposes over against the plans and the purposes of Satan. I decree and declare that in this battle, no intrinsic, no extrinsic weapon, be it emotional, financial, physical, social, psychological, spiritual, organizational, interpersonal, formed against me shall prosper. I place upon myself the armor of light and of the Lord, truth to cover my loins, the breastplate of righteousness to cover my heart and chest cavity, the gospel of peace to cover my feet, the shield of faith to defensively and offensively cover my body, the helmet of salvation to cover my head, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, a, Christ, a robe of righteousness, the glory of God as my rare reward. I decree and declare that the weapons of my warfare are not carnal but mighty through God. I pull down strongholds, cast down vain imaginations and every high thing that lifts itself against the knowledge of Jesus Christ. My thoughts are now subject to the Lordship of Christ. I speak that the God's anointing destroys every yoke in my life and that my soul, my spirit, my body now functions in order according to divine systems of protocol. I decree and declare that I am healed and spirit filled and sickness and diseases are far from me. I establish divine parameters, boundaries, and borders, and legislate and establish the laws of the kingdom of heaven to govern all activities within. I overrule and disallow. I veto every diabolical sanction, subverting activity, injunction, directive, mandate, or order which opposes the will of the Lord concerning my life, my ministry, my finances, my family. Hallelujah. I disannul diabolical decisions and rulings concerning Concerning my ministry and concerning my life and, and the lives of my family members, my friends, my associates. Uh, I take control over the airwaves, the galaxy, systems, realms, regions, domains, spheres, stratospheres, hemisphere, atmosphere, anything that will affect uh, me negatively. I bring it unto the obedience uh, and the lordship of Christ and I decree and declare that those things are aligned. Uh, I dispossess master spirits uh, and employ my archangels, the angelic host to handle any satanic contentious, disputing, strivings, resistance concerning this injunction. I decree and declare success, uh, successful divine and angelic undertakings, uh, undergirdings, reinforcements, and assistance uh, according to your word in Psalm 103 and 20. I summon angels uh, that now excel in strength uh, and to marshal and protect my personage and property and possession. Jehovah Gibor, contend with those that contend with me. Fight against those that fight against me. Take hold of the shield and buckler. Stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and the javelin. Close up the way of those who pursue and persecute me. Clothe yourself in your garments of war. Muster your devices. Gather your weaponry and ammunition from your divine arsenal. Make bright your arrows. Gather your shields. Let vengeance be your ultimate goal as you overthrow the chariots, the horses, the riders. Uh, let terror strike the hearts uh, of my enemy and cause their hearts to fail. Uh, I decree and declare uh, that by you, I run through troops. By you, I leap over walls. You are my God, the God who girds me with strength, the God that makes my way perfect. It is you who makes my feet as hinds feet, giving me stability so that I'm able to stand firmly and progress on dangerous heights of testing and trouble. You set me securely upon my high places. You teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight, granting me supernatural strength and abilities so that my arms break a bow of steel. You are my rock, my shield, my strong tower. You have equipped me with the shield of salvation and your right hand establishes me as a victor in this battle. Father, beat down the enemy. 
give me their knack, cause me to pursue and overtake them until they are wounded and consumed, falling at my feet, never to rise up again, establish my name in the heavenlies, let them that hear of me submit and obey me because of the anointing that you have placed upon my life, because of the spirit of servanthood, hallelujah, from which I operate, I am your servant, and even as Elijah came, hallelujah, requesting an open heaven and fire falling down because of his servanthood, I come as your servant praying this prayer. I announce that it is you who has blessed me. It is you who has empowered me. It is not by my strength. It is not by my might, but it's by your power and by the spirit of the Lord, which is upon me, the spirit of might, hallelujah, that comes upon me. For when the enemy shall come in like a flood, your spirit lifts up a standard against him. I forbid and disallow further opposing activities of any satanic personalities with diabolical assignments concerning my life, my ministry, my family, and I war a way, I wage a warfare for them and for everything that you have released in the realm of the spirit that pertains to my life and godliness. I disapprove and prohibit any demonic interception and interference or resistance. I resist satanic contentions, intentions, provocations, negotiations concerning my life, my soul, and superimposed prophetic purpose and divine destiny over against all activities and opposing opposing forces that are contrary to the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning my life. I bind satanic harassment and rebuke satanic concentration. I bring to a halt and prohibit all satanic surveillance. I lift false burdens. I remove the feelings of heaviness from off of your child, from off of that one that is listening to this tape. Spirit of oppression, I bind you and I lose your effect. Hallelujah, spirit of depression. I find you. Loose God's man. Loose this woman of God. Loose this man of God. Loose this child. In the name of Jesus, I cast them upon the Lord. I cast the burden. I cast the feelings of heaviness. I cast distress. I cast disillusionment and place it at the foot of Jesus. Hallelujah. And make you a part of the footstool of Jesus. I decree and declare that they shall not be moved. I decree and declare that by the anointing, covenants and contracts, and chains and fetters and bondages, proclivities and captivities, they are destroyed in the name of Jesus. Anything that is contrary to or opposed or hinder the fulfillment of God's original plan and purposes, they are broken. I sever it now in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, hallelujah, that there is liberation of the soul ties, generational, satanic, demonic alliances, allegiances, curses, spirits of inheritance. I sever them from off of this woman, off of this man, off of this child. I sever them. I sever them by your blood. I sever them by your spirit. I speak to the DNA and declare that it is free from all influences passed down from one generation to another, whether it's passed down biologically, socially, emotionally, physiologically, psychologically, spiritually, or any other channel, whether it's known or unknown, I decree and declare, hallelujah, deliverance in that area. Father, we resist every spirit that acts as a doorkeeper to our souls, and we renounce any further conscious or unconscious alliance, association, allegiance, or covenant. We open ourselves to divine deliverance. Father, have your way now. Perfect those things concerning us. Father, we also decree and declare that a prayer shield, the anointing, uh, and a bloodline, hallelujah, forms a hedge of protection which hides us from familiar spirits and from all demonic personalities, making it difficult, if not impossible, for them to track us in the realm of the spirit. There shall be no perforation and penetration. In the name of Jesus, the anointing seals access the Holy Spirit. Spirit stands on guard. Jesus Christ, the captain of our Lord. Hallelujah. We work with him. We work syncopated with him. We are synchronized with the Holy Spirit at this time. We release. 
hallelujah, our names into the atmosphere and decree and declare that prayer warriors, intercessors, prophetic watchmen are picking us up in the realm of the spirit. We speak that they will not cease or come down from their watchtowers until their assignments have been completed. We decree and declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon us, the Spirit of wisdom, understanding, divine counsel, supernatural night, knowledge, the utmost fear of Jehovah. And Father, as I advance, and as we advance, and as we divine are divinely empowered and increase in skill and understanding, I decree and declare, hallelujah, a fresh supply of the Spirit in the name of Jesus. We obliterate and annihilate satanic impressions, illusions, projections, perceptions, suggestions, suspicion, deception to set up that is set up as a decoy or an ambush to our soul and those assigned to pray with us, for us, on behalf of us, to intercede for us, those that work with us and are assigned to work to with, with us and are assigned to us and interact with us on a daily basis. We disannul and disengage and disallow any further impressions coming to their mind or their spirit in the name of Jesus. Father, overthrow the plans of the troublemakers, scorners, scoffers, mockers, persecutors, character assessors, expose satanic representatives, grant unto us divine strategies and tactics to identify, resist, overcome every plot and every plan established for our demise. Draw out your spirit. Stop them in their way. Let them be confounded and put to shame. Let them fall by their own counsel. Let them be turned back and brought to confusion. Let them be as chaff driven by the wind. Let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Let their way be through dark and slippery places with the angel of the Lord pursuing and afflicting them. Let them be put to shame and dishonor those who seek and require our lives. Let them be turned back and confounded who plan our hurt. Let destruction come to them suddenly. Let them fall to their own destruction. Let destruction come upon them unaware. Let them stumble and fall into the very destruction they have contrived for us. Let them be wounded and destroyed by the we very weapons they have devised for us. Let them be caught in the same net they have set for us. Let them fall in the very pit that they have dug for us. Let them be hung by the very noose they have constructed for us. Let them be burned by the very fire they have lit for us. Let them be consumed by the very beast that they have prepared for us. Strike them down in the very act of their mischief. Let their mischief be returned to them double fall. Pluck them out of their dwelling place. Root them out of the land of the living. Let evil slay them and desolation be their lot. Make them as a wheel turning in confusion. Make them as stubble before the wind. Make them as wood burning in the fire. Persecute them with the tempest. Cause fear and terror to grip their hearts. Let them be confounded and troubled forever. Your name is glorified, Jehovah Gibor. Put a hope to all destructive, disturbing, distractive measures. For this reason was the Son of God made manifest that he would destroy the works of the enemy. And I decree and declare that the works of the enemy is destroyed. I prevail against satanic inhibitions, prohibitions, all limitations. I decree and declare that all invisible and invincible walls are destroyed. I execute divine judgment against satanic demonic activities and I war in the spirit of Elijah and Jehu. I disapprove, nullify, dismantle, cancel, and forcefully oppo oppose any satanic operations, maneuvers, manipulations, subversions, strategies, tactics, plots, plans, ploys, which are designed to hinder, prevent, frustrate, Spoil, deny, delay God's original plan and purpose from their quick, swift, and speedy manifestation, particularly in the correct time and season. I decree and declare that we are moving syncopated to your uh, correct timing and season. We are not about out of timing. We are not in our out of our season. Father, we prohibit the alteration and the changing of any time or laws concerning our life and ministry or the life and of, of my family. We move, synchronized, syncopated to the choreographic move of God. We decree and declare that our times and seasons are in your hand, Lord, and they shall not be altered or adjusted by anyone or anything. We function on the anointing of the sons of Issachar, and Father, you give us 
hallelujah, the divine ability to accurately discern at our times and season. Father, we decree and declare that this day we operate according to God's divine timetable and calendar. We decree and declare that your agenda is our agenda. Father, we are not our own. I, I, I have been bought with a price. We therefore submit ourselves to you and you alone. We decree that like Jesus, we come in the volume of the book that is written of us. I decree and declare that the eyes of my spirit function with 2020 vision for correct understanding and interpretation of divine movements. We decree and declare that our eyes are attuned with the correct frequency and the spirit that we have clear transmission. We employ the host of heaven to war against the host of darkness. Take command and bring a host and place a moratorium on further demonic movements and satanic activities emanating from the underworld and its six regions. Hallelujah. Death, hell, the grave, the pit, the abyss. Hallelujah. Regions of the sea. Oh, Jehovah Gibor, fight in these areas. Even as you brought deliverance over the children of Israel who had problems. Hallelujah. Fighting with the forces of hell from the six regions. Hallelujah. We decree and declare that you are causing us to overcome and you are giving us victory through your son, Jesus Christ. We decree and declare, hallelujah, that the host of heaven is warring against, hallelujah, every demonic heavenly host. Hallelujah, they're warring over terrestrial and celestial domains. Hallelujah. We superimpose the prophetic word over all abortive measures, strategies, tactics of the enemy. We overrule and overthrow according to Isaiah 54, 17, ill-spoken words, ill witches, enchantments, divination, spells, hexes, curses, witchcraft prayers, every idle word spoken contrary to God's original plans and purposes. We reverse the curse associated with these utterances and decree and declare that they shall not stand, they shall not come to pass, they shall not take root. Their verbal, violent dealings are returned to them double pole. We decree and declare that every lying tongue is wrong and that truth prevails. Put a hook in their nostrils, bridle their lips, hide us from the scourge of their tongue. We come against falsehood, slander, speculation, accusation, misrepresentation, character assassination. Father, cause the heavens to bow down with divine judgment. Cast forth lightning to scatter them. Shoot out your arrows to destroy them. Send your hand from above and rid us of it. We prohibit the accuser of the brethren from operating or influencing the souls or mind of anyone who comes into contact with us. We reverse the effects of stigma and decree and declare favor, grace, honor, well wishes. Now places any and all negative feelings, perceptions, thoughts concerning ourselves, our family, our work, our ministry, which we are called to accomplish. We decree and declare nobility and greatness is our portion. Father, frustrate the signs of witches and warlocks who withstand the anointing as you did with Janice and Jumbries in the days of Moses. Confound the omens of liars, astrologers, psychics, prognosticators, sorcerers, and the like. Make fools of diviners. Make their dark knowledge foolishness. Father, rebuke and dismantle satanic alliances and confederations. Arrest them by the spirit. Let every covert and clandestine effort and endeavor fail. Disappoint the devices that they have crafted so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Take them in their own crafty and de devious ways. Let them meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as the night overrule and overthrow sabotage, subversion, setbacks. Let every attack of retaliation fail. Hallelujah, confirm the words of your servants in their minds and perform the counsel of your messenger. Send divine, angelic, prophetic assaults against diabolical intelligence. Release divine viruses to invade satanic databases and command that they be consumed and destroyed. Blood out all diabolical records so that the accuser of the brethren has nothing upon which he may substantiate his accusations and allegations with. Let all future diabolical communications and networkings fail. Send a spirit of confusion among them. Let their tongues be divided so that when they communicate, it will be incoherent and misunderstood. Arrest those that operate in the spirit of Jezebel or Belial. Let not them not resist the anointing. Use up authority or gain any ground in the natural or in the realm of the spirit. 
I prohibit satanic manifestations and speak that divine abortive measures and miscarriages occur in satanic wounds and into incubators. Now, Father, you have given us a great work to accomplish. We war for the releasing of finances and of all resources that belong to us. Everything prepared for us before the foundation of the world that pertain to our life, our ministry, and our calling. We shall not and will not be denied. We shall not and will not accept substitutes. We call in the resources from the north, the south, the east, the west. We decree and declare that every resource necessary for us to fulfill your original plan and purpose comes to us without delay. We decree and declare that the wealth of the wicked is no longer laid up for us, but is released now. Let those who hold on to our wealth any longer than they should be afflicted and tormented without relief until they were released until they release what rightfully belongs to us. We command Satan according, hallelujah, to Job 20, verse 15 to 18. Spit it out. Loose it. Cough it up. Release it. And let it go. I reiterate. Cough it up. Spit it out. Loose it. Release it. Let it go. Jehovah J Jireh, loose the loins of kings. In the name of Jesus, Command that the two living gates be opened. Go before us. Make the crooked places straight. Break into pieces the gates of brass. Cut into sunder the bars of iron. Grant unto us according to your riches and glory, your tender mercies and immeasurable favor, the treasures of darkness, the hidden riches of secret places. We decree and declare that the Cyrus Spring. anointing flows unhindered and contaminated in our lives i decree and declare according to psalms 24 7 to 10 lift up your heads all ye gates and keepers of the gates and be ye lifted up ye a dividing doors and doorkeepers that the king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord of hosts may come in i announce our awareness that you cannot deny him access Therefore, he is my shepherd leading me. Therefore, I will not and cannot be denied of what rightfully belongs to me. I decree and declare the releasing of the forces of the Gentile, the gold and the silver from my prophetic torches, my prophetic queen of Sheba, to come later with precious possessions, resources, endowments fit for the sons and daughters of the king of kings. I decree and declare that I shall suck the milk of the Gentiles, suck the breast of kings. I shall be enlarged as the abundance of the sea is converted unto me. The sons of strangers shall build up my wall and the king shall minister unto me. I decree and declare that my God has brought me into a wealthy place. I dwell in my prophetic Goshen. I increase in substance and prosper in the land whereto I abide. I am sent as an ambassador of God, as his official representative as diplomatic and arist with, with diplomatic and aristocratic rights, privileges, respect, honor, all of these things are extended to me. Grace, truth, goodness, and mercy are my bodyguards. I decree and declare, wisdom is my counselor. The spirit is my consultant. Jesus Christ is my advocate. God al Elyon is my only judge. And he has declared, and I therefore establish, that my officers are peace my executor's righteousness, my wall salvation, and my gates praise. I decree and declare that my set time of favor will not be frustrated. I release upon my life, my ministry, the lives of every family member, my associates, my friends, the following anointing for wealth and prosperity so that God and God's name alone is glorified. The Jabez anointing, the Abrahamic anointing, the Melchizedek anointing, the Joseph anointing, the Jacobian anointing, the Isaac anointing, the Messiah's anointing, the Salmaic anointing, the sevenfold Edenic anointing, the Uzarian anointing, and the Joshua anointing. I decree and declare that I am daily loaded with benefits. I come against the spirit of deprivation. The Lord prospers the works of my hand. By him and through him I accomplish great exploits. Again I reiterate, 
I shall not be denied. I decree and declare success and progress in Jesus name. I decree and declare that the kingdom of heaven rules and reigns. I send these words forth in this prayer as you rock the winds in the realm of the spirit to demolish, destroy the enemy's camp. Cause the four winds of the spirit to begin to blow and the heavens to blow as destroying, conquering winds. I decree and declare that this prayer and all future prayers take on the characteristics of divine projectiles in the realm of the spirit and that they hit bullseye. I decree and declare that the laws that govern this prayer and all spiritual warfare strategies and tactics are binding by the word, the blood, and the, by the spirit. And I decree and declare that every spirit is released from their diabolical assignment and now becomes a part of the footstool of Jesus. And I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen.